Hey guys, I'm Wes, and welcome to another episode of The Makeshift. Today, we're going to do a very special Halloween edition of the show. But before we get started, let's check out some arts and crafts from when you guys were younger. Thanks for sharing that with us, guys. So Halloween isn't exactly my favorite holiday, but I do like it because it forces people to get creative. We have to make costumes and think of what we want to be. And the really creative people, they make their own costumes. So today, we're going to make our own makeshift costume. Some of you guys know I was at Comic-Con a few months ago, and I wanted to dress up as the Dark Knight because he was all the rage. I, I like Batman a lot. But for some reason, it didn't happen. So today, on the makeshift, I get to redeem my costume and show you guys how to make a very modern, uh, simple take on a Batman costume. So let's get started. As you guys know, there have been many interpretations of Batman's costume. I mean, there's so many movies, comics, and he looks different in almost each one. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take bits and pieces of all the different suits and combine them into one symbolic Batman costume. If you ask me, I think Batman's known for a few, you know, distinguishing items. First, there's uh, his spiky arms, you know, the things he used to like grab onto the side of the cliff so he wouldn't fall off in uh, Batman Begins. Then there's his cape. You know, what is Batman without his cape? He's basically a guy in a black scuba suit. And lastly, we have Batman's pointy ears. But we're just gonna take the few pieces that, that are really doable for this costume. All right, let's start with Batman's arm spikes. Here they are. These are actually the ones they used in uh, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. I was able to acquire them because I'm friends with Bruce Wayne and um, we're tight like that. I'm kidding. These are actually cardboard because I love cardboard. But close enough, right? I mean, a little bit of cardboard, a little bit of paint. These very dangerous spikes. Don't get in my way, dude. I'll cut you. I'll show you how to make this. Here's your cardboard. You cut out this shape. You know, not everyone's arm is the same, so Make sure you measure your arm and draw it out and just bend it so you have a nice curve. Then you cut four slits. One, two, three, four. And then take some elastic or string, shoelace, anything. You wrap it around and tie it off and then you make sure it fits. This is exactly how Alfred um, helps Batman. Make sure he has a lot of cardboard. But you have this, right? And then lastly, these spikes, besides being sharp, they're very practical. This is just black tape. It's just two pieces of black tape stuck together, and then you cut a triangle out of it, and you just tape it on. So I'm gonna show you how to do one of those spikes right now. Here's our black tape. Should be more careful than that. We're gonna fold it in half, and try to make the edges align. I just messed up. Starting over, don't mess up like I just did. I'm supposed to lead by example, right? So, like I said, fold it in half, and then make sure there's no bubbles either. Air bubbles are uh, Batman's weakness. Okay, so we folded the tape in half. Make sure you leave two tabs open at the bottom of stickiness, because we're gonna need that. Now we're just gonna cut the shape. It's pretty much just a triangle. That. Here is our arm spike. And we're gonna just apply it to our cardboard. And we've got three arm spikes per arm. Okay, next we have Batman's ears. These are Batman's ears, believe it or not. What do you think? Look just like them, right? These are actually really cool. My brother thought of this idea. What it is, is a wire coat hanger, like this one. And he just bent it so it fits around his head. And he made these little shapes. Um, I think this is just foam. When you're working with coat hangers, you want to be really careful because some of the pointy edges are pointy and they will hurt you. So uh, use gloves or something, and uh, you're gonna be using wire cutters, so just be careful with that. Bend it accordingly. And for these, you know, ear pieces, you could use anything. 
cardboard, always works. Okay, next we have a very important piece, the Batman logo shirt. If you don't have your own shirt or you don't know where to find this, just take any gray shirt. I have a bunch, I'll give you one. Take some black tape and just, you know, make your own Batman logo. It could probably be even better than this. Then we take some black cloth and we're gonna cut out a cape and pin it to the collar of the shirt. And that will be our awesome Dark Knight cape. I'm just uh, gonna wing this, no pun intended. It's supposed to look a little raggedy, I think, so that's, that's the look I'm going for. Holy smokes, that's awesome. It just screams Batman. Or, uh, or, no, it's Batman. Just safety pins, because we're safe. It's a really bad joke. Batman doesn't make bad jokes. All right, we're gonna choose the black ones, because remember in, um, in Batman Begins, Bruce Wayne's like, does it come in black? Yes, they do. So it'd probably be easier to hang the shirt up with this trusty hanger that we already had. Um, so that's what we're doing. You know how people like, the designers always put the pins in their mouths? I'm, be I'm beginning to understand why that is very helpful because you need both hands. But I don't trust myself with a pin in my mouth. So let's not do that. Okay, something like that. Arm spikes, pointy ears, cape of awesomeness. I'm the Dark Knight. This is my makeshift Batman costume. All household items that you can uh, find anywhere. All right, thanks for watching ISA TV. Make sure you send us your costumes. Now I gotta fight some crime. Oh, uh, my Batmobile is downstairs, so. Batcave, gotta take the elevator again.